What's up, Keep Pounding crew? We are back with another video. Keep Pounding. Today's topic is day 10 of training camp. If you like the video, if you like the stream, if you like the, the videos that I am posting, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, select all, leave a comment down below if you feel like doing so. And also, don't forget to check out the Facebook group page, Keep Pounding in all caps, for in-game posts, polls, opinions, reactions to NFL news, uh, schedule releases for the channel, and, of course, the Fantasy Football League for the Keep Pounding League. Uh, there will be a post up there if you are interested in joining, and I highly recommend you do so because it's a lot of fun and you know we're hoping to actually get a signed mini helmet as a prize this year so this should be a lot of fun if we can make make that happen I would love to see it and uh, I'm gonna try to get that helmet signed today as a matter of fact so uh, if that should happen then We'll have that mini helmet as the prize. So go like and follow that page. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So day 10. Uh, we're hearing about a, a lot of, a few injuries here. Um, TMJ was hurt. And, and it's a few leg injuries that I'm hearing lately. Um, that I was hoping wouldn't happen. You know, especially to TMJ because he's having an excellent camp. So that's very disappointing to hear that. Um, but otherwise, like, I'm very happy with what we're seeing in camp. Um, I want to quickly address that touchdown by Higgins that Matt Rule uh, was unhappy about first of all he's not unhappy about the touchdown okay that's not what he's unhappy about he made that very clear you know offense clearly beat the defense no problem there the defense just needs to tighten up you know um, and that's typical of camp you know Offense is going to be defense every now and then. Defense is going to be offense every now and then. And you're going to see that balance go back and forth like a pendulum. So that's normal. No, what he was complaining about was the touchdown celebration itself. Where he was taunting the teammates. Now see, that is what will earn you a flag during a regular game. And we can't have that. That is shooting ourselves in the foot. So... You know, he's right. We, we don't... Both sides need to tighten up, you know. Um, and, and I'll say this because the offense should not act like that is such an easy score, you know, that they should be expecting that more often than not. But the defense should know, you know, you, you don't want to give up touchdowns like that and you got to tighten up. You know, so that's that's the general idea of what happened there and what I took out of uh, Matt Rule's presser. Now, let's get to the heart of the order today, which is uh, discipline today. Now, I, I was going through uh, my guy's uh, Twitter feed that... Uh, I posted yesterday and I, I wanted to go through it more and just really explore and make sure I got my notes correct on which players you know and whatnot because he was he was doing a good job of laying out which players um, were doing what you know during seven on sevens and eleven on elevens and uh, he actually had numbers you know so for uh, Sam Darrell versus Baker, you know, in that first week. And that's what I was looking for. Uh, so, I'd like to 
see that continue, you know, if he's watching this uh, page. Thank you very, very much for uh, posting all of that, because that's been very helpful. Um, considering the fact that we don't have uh, a chance to film, you know, that's been very helpful. Um, so shout out to him. I'll go through his Twitter feed, you know, on stream to, uh, this afternoon or this evening. Um, you know, to give the proper credit to the players that deserve it. So, that in mind, you know, what I'm expecting to see is discipline today on uh, penalties. I want to see improvement on that because we've seen some holding, we've seen some false starts, we've seen a lot of different things. And in this past week, you know, with pads on that we didn't see in the first week, which is normal, but it is time to tighten it up. You know what I mean? It, it's the last few days of training camp. It's time to tighten that up a little bit. You know, we're go getting ready to go into a pre our first preseason game on Saturday. So I want to see that tightened up. Fan Fest is the last technical day of training camp. And, you know, that's your last chance to, to really tighten that up uh, before we enter game time. Realistically, of training camp, then you just have closed off practices. So, I need to see that get get cleaned up a little. You know, let's. I don't mind the false starts necessarily. To, let's not make that a habit. You know, every once in a while is fine, but I've noticed uh, two holding penalties on Brady Christensen. You know, while trying to. Uh, hold out Brian Burns. Now, the first one I expected, you know, it's early in camp. It's it's normal. But the second one, you know, you got to tighten that up, but You know, let, let's see that. Let's see that uh, technique, man. You know what I mean? I got you, bro. I'm here for you. But I need to see that tighten up. I fully support you in the starting role, Brady. I want to see you have it, but you, we don't need holding penalties during games, you know? That's not good. Um, and let's see. What else do I want to see happen today? Wide receivers are going to keep making plays, you know. I think this is going to give Shai Smith an opportunity to make that 53-man roster. Uh, you know, with TMJ on the pub list. You know, we got a, a very interesting four-way battle there. We got Higgins, we got Shai Smith, we got uh, TMJ, and I think we got one other one, CJ. So it's a very interesting battle to see, you know, I think we're going to keep three of them and toss one to the practice squad. Now I don't know which one we're going to be tossing. That's, that's going to be determined by preseason. So that battle is wide open right now and I'm enjoying it. Flat out, I'm enjoying every bit of it. These guys are skilled competitors. They are very, very talented. And they have a hunger for that spot, man. I'm telling you. That's the hunger I'm looking for in training camp. You know, when these guys come out here and they compete like that, that's how you know you earned your job. You earned your 53-man roster spot. You didn't fool around. You got the job done. You got the coach's attention, and you balled out. You know what I mean? That's what we need to see more of. 
And I need to see that from every position. Because if we see that from every position, we're going to have a 53-man roster that is filled with competitors. And that's going to translate real well into preseason and regular season. And will translate into wins. So, I need to see more of it. You know, um, I saw Gross Matzos got a sack. I see you, Gross Matzos. Okay, man. You know, we haven't seen many sacks this training camp. And that, that's a good thing and a bad thing. You know what I mean? Because you're looking at the, uh, the offensive line showing some real improvement since, I mean, real improvement for the first time in like six or seven years to where we have some monsters on that starting line the top five um, I don't know where that offensive line is going to rank at the end of the year but I can tell you what it's going to be significantly better than last year that's for sure um, but f for the fact that we don't have a sack except for Gross Matos and maybe um, I, I know there was one other defensive end on, uh, last Saturday uh, of the first week on um, Back Together Saturday that almost had a sack. I saw that. And I was very impressed. I think it, it was either Back to the Other Saturday or that Tuesday that followed it. And I was very, very impressed. Uh, it might have been that Tuesday, actually. But it was one of the lower defensive ends on the, on the roster. Um, but the fact that it took that long to get a sack in this year's training camp is a very, very positive sign for that offensive line. But it also means that the, the pass rushing needs to ramp it up just a little bit. You know what I mean? It, just crank it up a couple notches, you know? But let's put some heat on these guys, man. Let's really test this offensive line. Let's see what they're made of today. That's what I need to see. Uh, and if I see that, I'm going to be very pleased. And I know this video probably won't go out until after, you know, training camp is over. But that's fine. You know, maybe these guys will see it, you know, for uh, Tuesday when I go out there too. Uh, tomorrow. So... Yeah, I know we got a couple of players possibly watching this, and I appreciate y'all, man. Much love to you, and stay healthy, stay happy. Let's get out there. Let's work, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's work. I love all y'all, and I want to see some success out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to see y'all ball out. Backs look good. You know, I heard something about Cleveland wanting to not trade uh, Kareem Hunt. However, Kareem Hunt wants out of Cleveland. And frankly, with everything going on up in Cleveland, I can't really blame him. I mean, my question is, you know, to everybody here, would you be interested in making a move for him? You know, if it meant a draft pick and a player, you know, would y'all be interested in that? You know, because that would make a mighty fine running back competition, you know, in camp for this last week in preseason. It really would. Because Kareem Hunt is kind of in that same situation as CMC where he just can't stay healthy throughout the year. You know, but when he does, the production is top five running backs level, just like CMC is. And I mean, to have two of these guys competing at that level would be amazing. I know we'd have to pay some some pretty pennies for this, but it, it would be very, very interesting. And it would definitely boost up that running back room massively. Like, I would love to see that, man. 
We'd have that power back one-two punch just like Jonathan Stewart and D'Angelo Williams again. I, I could feel it if we make that trade. So, you know, I don't know if you make that trade or not. That That is up to you, Scott. You know, if you think that's worth going after, then, uh, you know, let's, let's start up some discussion. Let's see what he wants. You know, um, I know Cleveland doesn't want to trade him. And that's the biggest thing, though. If Cleveland was interested, man, it would have to be 2024 picks or 2025 picks. But, you know, I'm interested. That piqued my interest yesterday, man. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> and, you know, I, I'm not that heavy into watching other players that might get traded and stuff like that, but... Man, look at that dude trying to treat this row like Daytona 500, man. Jeez. Anyway, um... I think there's a lot to like with the crew that we have right now. You know, if you want to save up that money and, and go after a linebacker or a defensive end, I think that's definitely worth our while to do that. I'd have to check to see what linebackers and what uh, defensive ends we still have on the free agent list and how, how much that would cost them for us to get them. Um, but, yeah, I could definitely see that we, we need that one extra guy in both of those positions. Um, particularly a linebacker to compliment Luvu because Luvu has been doing some work I'm trying to tell you so you need to reward this man and, and put somebody by him because I'm not feeling confident about that linebacker room right now I'm going to be honest with y'all it's not really, it's not fully up to where we want it to be. In my opinion, not yet. We need that one more guy. You know, um, if you feel like drafting him next year, that's fine. You know, but uh, if you can knock out two birds with one stone here and get somebody that can do both, that's more of a uh, run stopper, that would be ideal. You know, I'd, I'd like to see Luvu get some starting time with the ones, and let's see what he can do. You know, um, I think he's earned it. There's a couple of players that have earned that starting time, man. Those starting reps. And I think TMJ would have been one of them had he stayed healthy and not ended up on the PUP. But it is what it is, man. Um... I hate to see Haynes go down, you know. I think that's going to put pressure on Scott to go after a defensive end. And I mean go hard after a defensive end. Because um, he was already going after one already. That might put some real heat on him. Offensively and defensively, they're both trading back and forth. You know, that's what, that's the vibe I was getting the last time I was out there on Friday, and I wouldn't doubt that it carried over into Saturday. You know, um, there's still a little work to do, but I'm happy with what I'm seeing. That's progress. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Scott is happy with what he's seeing as well. Um, you know, seeing as he put this whole thing together. And it's, it's coming together nicely, man. To be real with y'all, man, it's coming together nicely. We got a unit. We definitely got a unit here. Now, what we decide...
decided to do with that unit. We'll see. Uh, we still got a few position battles we got to work out, you know, in, in camp that we can't get accomplished in uh, preseason necessarily. And it's you want to see those. Uh, finish up, you know, in the last couple days here, and one of those position battles is going to be uh, the offensive line, you know, we want to select our starting five and make sure we're completely confident with it, you know, we want to uh, select our uh, wide receiver number three or four, you know, we want to make sure we're confident with that, so I'm going to be looking at both of those positions today those areas today um, and I'm also going to be watching uh, let's see pass rushing as I mentioned before but I mean the rest of it looks solid man you know the only player I didn't really mention that much is Woods I think Woods is doing an excellent job here in camp too He's having a good camp. I saw him make a couple of plays, you know. Uh, I saw Westry make a play, you know, on Friday. So, either, either sometime last week I saw him make a play, and I don't remember which day. But, you know, some of the, the smaller names on this roster, man, this is your opportunity. Step up your game. I need to see it. I need to see y'all really fight for these spots if you want them. If you want to be a camp body, that's up to you. But, you know. But if you want a spot on these on this 53, man, you've got to earn it. And it starts in these next few days. I need to see that fire crank up five notches. From these guys and you know who you are you know um, yeah I need to see some uh, communication I need to see discipline I need to see you know uh, chemistry overall chemistry today that's what I'm looking for and if I see that, and it, it, it leads to continuity, and it, it leads to very good habits that can be used uh, into the regular season. So if I see all that, I'm gonna be very, very pleased. You know, we still got a little work to do. We still got some roster building to do, but I'm pleased overall. Uh, Let's see how this rolls in the next few days. Uh, shout out to all the new subscribers. Shout out to all the new followers. Much love to all y'all. Um, obviously, I'm going to be watching one player in particular. And I'm not going to say who it is. Again, same player. But uh, if you think that's you, step up your game. You know what I'm saying? Step it up. Do what you got to do. And uh, let's make this happen, man. I'll tell you who that player is at the end of training camp. And it's not who y'all are expecting it to be. I can tell you that right now. Y'all can take several swings at it. But... It's not who you think it's going to be. <laughs> you know? I've been coming up to these camps for a long time. And I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. So, I mean, show me something. That's all I'm going to say about that. Show me something. Show me something I haven't seen yet. You know, be wild, man. Be unpredictable. 
that's what catches my attention. That's what catches the coach's attention most importantly. You know, you catch both our attention, that's a good thing. Because I could promote you. I could promote your name. So, you know, YouTubers have a powerful voice, man. Y'all may not think you have a powerful voice, but you do. You know, C3, all, all these all these podcasts, man, we got a powerful voice when we put it together. Let's start doing that. And let's start promoting these players, man, in a positive way. Let, let's start showing the organization we really do care about this training camp. And we really do want the best 53-man roster, man. You know, I got much love for every podcaster out there, man. You know? Shout out to all of y'all. Because y'all are making what, this whole machine run. You know, the way it is on YouTube, man. It, it's beautiful. It's a work of art. And I'm proud to be a part of it. With my beautiful community that we have built here. So, yeah. I, I'm very excited to keep that going. And keep joining that that party you know that celebrates when we get touchdowns you know and wins games man it, it just it's everything it literally is everything to be around such amazing people in this fan base and I can't tell you again how, how blessed I am to have what we have and what I what we built here So want to uh, highlight again I've been on two podcasts now I could have complained about that that uh, no videotaping thing but I didn't do it because for two reasons one I wanted to show positivity towards the team you know we've had enough of this toxic nonsense over the past year and a half especially over the past six years you know how much more toxicity do we need in this fan base, in this organization, anywhere in it. You know what I mean? Like, we, we got to get rid of it. It's time for some positivity. You know, it, it's time we get back to football. You know, just all around football. You know, get rid of all the clown nonsense. Let's, let's get back to it. You know, and... While that rule change doesn't help us, it definitely hurts us in a lot of ways. Uh, and, and shout out to all my people in all the different countries, you know. Much love to y'all, and I'm sorry that that happened. You know, that y'all didn't get any footage. But, you know, it's not on me. It's on these, uh... It's on these, uh... ESPN and people like that, these news organizations that are trying to take that power back, you know what I mean? And we can't have that no more. In the NFL, man, we can't have that no more. It's killing the brands. It is literally killing everything that we're trying to build. But, you know, I'm not here to complain about it. I'm just saying. Yes, it exists. And we gotta deal with it. And I'm working. I'm working my way around it. I'm trying to find ways around it, but it, it's a challenge. It's always gonna be a challenge. So, but the other reason is I wanted to promote our channel in the right way. You know, on these podcasts, I wanted to show who we are, what we do, and why we do it. You know what I mean? And I felt like I did that with those two podcasts. So, uh, and with the time that I was given on those podcasts. So, with that in mind, yeah, again, we need to come together as a YouTube community. We need to, to get back to football. We need to get back to what we're what we're good at you know it's 
Stop focusing on that toxic clown nonsense. That that extra garbage, you know, and let's get back to football. We're better than this, you know? And I had that moment of epiphany, y'all, where I could have easily complained several times over because I was royally upset in that first week. But I didn't do it. I didn't take it public. I only did it for that first 30 minutes on on that first Wednesday. So I want y'all to be clear on this. That That's what I did. I was not messing around. I said my piece and I was done with it. Alright, so back to football, man. Let, let's, let's focus on what we're doing here. That battle with Baker... And uh, Sam Darnold rages on. Uh, and with what S Steve Smith is saying, man, Matt Corral is still very much in this thing. Because I saw one really nice throw uh, on my uh, on my feed yesterday, and I was very impressed. Yeah, you know, from Saturday. So I mean. Matt Corral's still in this thing, man. I'm gonna watch a little bit. Let, let's see what he get. Let's see what he gives us, man. This ain't over yet. This is very much not over yet. There's a lot of talent on this team to go around. So yeah, for the quarterback battle, I'm looking for technique, I'm looking for footwork, I'm looking for um, accuracy, throwing the run, are you smart about getting the ball to a wide receiver instead of just throwing it away or, or forcing it into a pick, you know, um, you know, are you smart overall with the ball? That's what I'm going to be looking for. If I see that, I'm going to be happy, you know, because that's what we're looking for, folks. Um, I'm almost there now, so I'm going to end it here. Go check out that Facebook page. Go get yourself involved in that fantasy football league, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Keep pounding, man.